These are the instructions for Workplace 5C beat you to $1. For this game, each player needs a pencil and a yellow highlighter or a red crayon. Players will share a record sheet, a die, and a spinner. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose between the three spinners and circle the one that we chose on our record sheet. So for this one, you can see I've already chosen the yellow spinner and I have put our two players on the board here. So I'm going to say that Janet got to go first and she chose to play for dimes. Alan then had to take the nickels. So you're going to put their names beside the coin that each person is playing for. And then we're going to spin the spinner. And that landed right on the line. Let's do it again. So it, it came up as a nickel. Alan is the one who's playing for the nickel. So he is the one who gets to mark off five pennies from his chart. Five pennies is the same as a nickel. So he has marked that off. Now we go back and we spin again. And we got another nickel. So once again, Alan is the one who gets to mark pennies off of his chart. He's going to mark five pennies off. We spin again. We got another nickel. Goodness. Another nickel crossed off. I think we'll get a dime this time. Oh, nope, we got another nickel. We spin again, we get another nickel. I think you can see how this is going to go. Uh, if we spin and we get a dime, and maybe the reason we keep getting nickels is because there's almost all nickels on this spinner that we chose. But if we get a dime, then Janet is going to mark 10 pennies off on her chart. And the players are going to keep doing those same steps over and over until one of them crosses out all of their pennies. Then they will total up the pennies that they crossed off. So let's pretend like they have finished the game and it looks like Alan's going to win. So let's go ahead and say that Alan cross off a dollar from his, his chart over here. And let's say maybe Janet got to cross off 70 cents. So we're going to record that. And once again, whoops, it wrote that backwards, didn't it? 70 cents. No, it wrote the whole thing backwards. All right, so now that we know how many pennies each person crossed off, we're going to find the difference between those two amounts, <coughs> which would be 30 cents. And we're going to record that. And I don't have a place on this sheet, but I think you do on yours. And that is how you play Beat You to $1.